Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Everybody got breath, ought to be praising and worshiping our God, who is the true and the living God. God is good. God is love. God is faithful. He's our healer. He's our way maker. He woke us up early this morning. And we come to bless his holy name. His holy name. To worship him in spirit and in truth. And on this Palm Sunday. On this Palm Sunday. On this Palm Sunday. We come to celebrate the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Hosanna. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hosanna. In the highest. Peace and goodwill to all men. On that day. Many spread their garments in the way. And others cut down branches off the trees. And strove them in the way. And they that went before. And they that followed cried saying, Hosanna! Hosanna! Blessed! Blessed! Is that name that come in the name. That's above every name that come in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ so let us celebrate in this holy season in this Lenten time let us celebrate Jesus amen amen, amen. amen. and we can celebrate celebrate by singing praise God praise God from whom all 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 the blessings, the blessings, they're flowing, they're flowing. Let's praise Him. Praise, praise Him. God from the moment all, all the blessings are flowing. Hallelujah! Is the highest praise. A creatures here below. Yes, Lord, give him a hallelujah praise. Praise him above heavenly hosts. Give him a shout of praise and adoration. The Father. The Son and the Holy Ghost. I said the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is in this place. And we have come to praise and worship Him. At this time, we will listen. Join in. Raise your hand. Join in with the music ministry as they sing praises unto our God. Amen. Let's bless him today. Bless him real good. Yes, Lord. Yes.
Let us pray. Most holy and loving God, our Father, we bow before you this morning because it was nothing but the old rugged cross. If it had not been for that cross, I wouldn't be able to stand here right now. Had not been for that cross, the world would have been lost and burning in eternal fire. But thank you, oh God, that you so loved the world that you gave your only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in thee should not perish but have eternal everlasting life. Thank you, O oh God, not only for everlasting life, but thank you for abundant life on earth. Thank you for forgiveness of our sins. O oh God, 
I wouldn't want to think about the fact that every time my foot slips, there would be no forgiveness. I wouldn't want to think about the fact that every time I thought an evil thought, I said a wrong word, that I couldn't confess, and you will be faithful and just to forgive me and to cleanse me of all unrighteousness. But I realize, oh God, that it's all because of what you did at Calvary that makes the difference. And oh God, with hearts of thanksgiving today, we bless your holy name. We shout hallelujah. We shout glory to your name. We say thank you for that old rugged cross. We made up our mind. No matter what we face or go through, we're going to cling to that old rugged cross. Yeah, that someday we'll exchange it for a crown in glory. Someday, if we keep clinging to that cross, we'll have a new body that's likened unto your body body that won't have to go to doctors anymore, a body that won't be aching and paining, a body that won't have to take pills or medicine or needles anymore, a body oh God where we can rejoice over in Zion and every day will be sunny and the Sabbath will never end and the wicked will cease from troubling thank you Lord for a prepared place for a prepared people all because of Calvary. Search us this morning. And whatever you find. Cleanse us. Wash us. Renew us. In the blood of Jesus. Pray master. You will bless your word. And as it go forth today. Let it touch. The areas of our lives. That cannot be touched by hands let it regulate some troubled mind to know that everything is going to be alright because you're still in charge let it touch somebody that's spiritually sick and on the verge of giving up knowing God that if you endure them praising you on that Friday singing Hosanna Hosanna blessed be the name of the one that comes in the name of the Lord and yet three days later yet they had crucified you put you in a water grave but you got up declaring all power is in your hands and heaven and in earth that they'll do the same thing to us they will crucify us one day and yet they will praise us but thank you for your resurrection power that causes us to keep getting up we thank you this day oh God we thank you we praise you we ask that you would bless and anoint the preacher the pastor that's going to share the bread of life Pastor Riley, use him today to thy glory. Let somebody hear what the Spirit is saying unto the church. Let us know that planned days are over. And if ever a time we took heed to your word, now is the time. For you said the time will come where men will hide under stone time will come like a woman who's about to deliver a child travail shall be upon her and everybody shall cry where shall I hide but thank you oh God that in that day there will be nowhere to hide for you said every knee must bow every tongue must confess in heaven and in earth and under the earth that you are Lord of Lords and your king of kings and I'm so glad no rocks don't have to cry out for me I know God what you've done in my life I know what you're doing right now 
I know what you're yet to do. I can share with the hymnologist who said, there are some things that I may not know. There are some places I cannot go. But as for me, I'm sure of this one thing. God is real. For I can feel you down in my soul. Thank you, Lord, for your grace and your mercy. For we ask all these favors in the blessed, in the majestic, in the holy, in the almighty name of Jesus. And every heart shouted, Amen. Our scripture reading today will come from Matthew chapter 21. Very familiar passage of scripture dealing with the triumphal entry. Matthew chapter 21 beginning at verse 1. And when they drew nigh unto Jerusalem, and were come to Bethanich unto the Mount of Olives. Then sent Jesus two disciples, saying unto them, Go into the village over against you, and straightway ye shall find an ass tied, and a coat with her. Loose them. And bring them unto me. And if any man say aught unto you, you shall say, The Lord has use of them, and straightway he will send them. All this was done that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the prophet, saying, Tell ye the daughter of Zion, Behold thy king cometh unto thee meek and sitting upon an ass and a coat the fall of an ass and the disciples went and did as Jesus commanded them and brought the ass and the coat and put on them their clothes and they set him thereon and a very great multitude spread their garments in the way. Others cut down branches from the trees and straw them in the way. And the multitudes that went before and that followed cried saying, Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest and when he was come into Jerusalem all the city was moved saying who is this and the multitude said this is Jesus I'm going to say that again this is Jesus the prophet of Nazareth of Galilee the word of God for the people of God me through that Lord I'm grateful yes I am to you you open doors that 
that will close my face. Lord, I'm grateful to you. You made a way out of nowhere. Lord, I'm grateful. Yes, I am to you. The eternal light of your open door that was shut in my face. Every time I'm grateful. Yes, I am to you. Oh, you brought me through. You brought me through this. You brought me through that. Lord, I'm grateful to you. You brought me through. Brought me through. I'm a living witness, you able. Yeah. Lord, I'm grateful. Yes, I am to you. Oh, you woke me up. Yes, you did. Early this morning. Oh, Lord, I'm grateful. Yes, I am to you. Brought me through that. Oh, Lord, I'm grateful. Oh, to you, to you. Oh, you brought me through. You brought me through. Oh, you brought me through that. Oh, brought me through Oh, Lord, I'm grateful. Yeah, to you. When friends walk away and scandalize my name, oh Lord, I'm still grateful to you. Oh, till you turn around and put health in my body, and I can tell, oh Lord, I'm grateful. I am to you. Oh, you brought me through, brought me through this. Brought me through that, brought me through that. Lord, I'm grateful. Lord, I'm grateful. Lord, I'm grateful. Lord, I'm grateful. Lord, I'm mighty grateful. Lord. You woke me up early this morning. Started me on my way, Lord. Put a little money, money in my pocket. Keep on blessing, keep on blessing, keep on blessing. Keep on blessing, keep on blessing, keep on blessing me. Keep on blessing, keep on blessing, keep on blessing me. Lord, I'm grateful. Oh, I'm grateful to you.
Oh, come on, let us throw our heads back and tell God how grateful we are this morning. Yeah, God, I'm grateful and I'm thankful because truly the Lord has brought me through this and God knows through that. And I know this morning, you don't have to say it, but I know for a fact he brought you too through some stuff, through some this and some that. And what I like about God is that he knows whether or not you are grateful for the things that he has done and the things that he is doing in your life. If you're grateful this morning, you ought to have a praise. You ought to have a hand clap. You ought to have a hallelujah. You ought to throw your hands up and tell the Lord, Lord, I'm grateful. Woo. It's a blessing. It's a blessing to be able to tell the Lord, I'm grateful for all that you have done can't even think about all that God has done but God I'm grateful because where I am Lord it's nobody but you that brought me to where I am oh I want to thank our praise team for that wonderful wonderful selection God I'm grateful so in in all things we ought to give thanks the word of God says and not some things but in all things we ought to give thanks unto our God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for ministering to us through songs. So very grateful for another opportunity to be in a worship experience on this side of Jordan's River. Amen. And to be able to proclaim the name of my Redeemer, my Lord, and my Savior, yes. Jesus the Christ. And so I come this morning with gratitude, come this morning with thanksgiving that God has spared me once again once again to be a living witness of the goodness of God in my life in the land of the living and so this morning we want to thank First Lady Reverend Sandra Riley our worship leader for leading us into worship a worship leader woman of God leading God's people into worship. She's our myriad. God has brought her through this. God has brought her through that. And so she lead us into worship. Thank God for Reverend Brian and for that fervent prayer. Thank God for his gift, his wisdom, for his friendship sonship. Thank God for this mighty praise team who are singing praises unto our God who, who's singing praises that reaches from earth to the throne of grace. And this morning I just believe that God is satisfied with their singing. So we come this morning in the name of Jesus. We greet you in his marvelous and matchless name. Let us pray. Now God. Now. 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 That's all that's all I have is now. God I'm asking that you speak, Lord. Speak a word. God, your word is life. Your word is light. Your word is strength. Speak, Lord. For we all need a word. So speak, Lord, this morning that your people will be blessed. They will be encouraged. They will be enlightened. They will be inspired to go 
further, Lord, in this COVID season. This plague, Lord, that is upon the earth, God, we still have a, a desire and an unction to serve you, to worship you, to praise you. So speak, Lord, that we will continue to move forward. And in our moving forward, we will follow you. For we know, Jesus, that you are the way, the truth, and the life. So bless now, Lord. Bless, Lord. Those who under the sound of my voice, Lord, bless them, Lord, that they will hear something this morning that will inspire them, encourage them, and strengthen them. It is in the name of Jesus I pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, let's put our hands together and give God some praise to the hearts. For God is not asking you to praise him this morning. He's worthy to be praised this morning. For he's God and he's God all alone. And so this morning, we praise our God to the highest. For those of you who have your Bibles, if you will, please turn with me <clears throat> to the Gospel of Matthew, the 21st chapter. And my brothers and sisters, we look at two verses from the 21st chapter of the Gospel of Matthew. We look at the 10th and 11th verses. And when he was come into Jerusalem, all the city was moved. All the city was moved. Saying, who is this? And the multitude said, this is Jesus the prophet of Nazareth of Galilee. Amen. My brothers and my sisters this morning, we want to use for a subject, who is this? Who, who is this? And this morning, a text is Matthew 21. But we know that this narrative was recorded in Mark, Matthew, and Luke, which are considered as synoptic gospels. But they tell the same story or narrative with different spiritual perceptions. And I just believe that the three gives us a complete narrative of Palm Sunday. So we're going to not only focus on Matthew, but we're going to look at Matthew, the 21st chapter, and Luke, the 19th chapter. And so... As we look at where we are presently, at this time, according to Sundays on our calendar, we look at this as one week that's left of Jesus' life here on earth. One week. Before Jesus' resurrection. Jerusalem was Jesus' destiny on earth. And historically and traditionally, as a child going to church, 
this particular Sunday was always called Palm Sunday. Or either Jesus' triumphal entry into Jerusalem. The palm branch is a symbol of triumph and victory. Early Christians used the palm branch to symbolize the victory of the faithful over their enemies. Enemies, enemies. Don't want to surprise you today, but all of us have some enemies. I, I don't care how close you are to God. I don't care how righteous you think you are. I don't care how good you think you can pray or preach or serve or usher or sing. You have some enemies. Haters, some critics, some evildoers. But we sing the song Victory is Mine. Yeah, yeah, we can we can sing that. Victory is mine. And we go as far to say that victory today is mine. In other words, we, we're victorious today, not tomorrow, but today. Victory is mine. And we go on to remind ourselves that I told Satan to get behind me. Because today, victory is mine. Oh, we can sing that good. We, we can sing it good. We say joy is mine. And you find us with our head hung down. And no smiles, but joy is mine. And peace is mine. And we find you arguing and fussing and fighting with folk, but peace is mine. And then we goes on to claim that happiness is, happiness is mine. And can't find ourselves doing nothing but sitting in the house in sorrow's pity, but happiness is mine. We, we sing, we sing, victory is mine. But do we live and celebrate the victories we sing about? Uh, happiness is real, peace is real, joy is real. And if you want it, you can find it only in Jesus. Palm Sunday is every day. Every day is a day of celebration. And the psalmist declares in the 118th Psalm, he said, this is the day the Lord hath made. Oh, man, man, man didn't have nothing to do with the day. The Lord has made. Yeah. The psalmist says, we will, not we might, not we should, but we will rejoice and be glad in it. Are you one of the we will? I don't know about you today, but I'm with the we will. I'm going to rejoice. I'm going to celebrate. It doesn't matter the state I might be in, the condition I might be in. But I'm going to celebrate Jesus. Because one thing I know about Jesus is that you can't get too low that he can't help you. You can't get too high that he can't reach you. You can't get too wide that he can't come see about you. So I'm going to celebrate. I'm like, David, where can I go from the presence of God if I make my bed in hell? He's there. If I fly to you on this mountain, he's there. Celebrate. The Lord is with you. Celebrate this day and be glad in it. Anybody glad? I say anybody glad about Jesus this morning. You may not be glad about some things, but you ought to be glad about Jesus. Anybody rejoicing about your salvation and liberation in Jesus? Anybody thinking about this day, how the Lord woke you up this morning, 
and clothed you and gave you a godly mind to be able to say when you got up, Lord, I thank you. Woo, Jesus. Yeah, yeah, I didn't get up and say, I woke up, the alarm clock woke me up on time, but Jesus, I thank you. You woke me up on due time. I don't care what time you got up. It was due time. Yeah, yeah. Some folk are known for sleeping to 12, but that's due time. Some folk is known to sleeping in the afternoon, but that's due time. Some folk is known to getting up early in the morning, but that's due time. The Lord wakes you up whatever time you wake up is due time because the Lord wakes you up. Yeah. So, Lord, I want to thank you because I'm still alive, still breathing, and able to get out of bed on my own. Yeah. Brothers and sisters, that's victory. If you got up this morning, that's victory. If you got up this morning, nobody didn't have to help you get up out of the bed, that's victory. Because you got up. I don't know about you, but some of us got up with arthritis and buciitis and all kind of itis. But we got up. You know why we were able to get up? Because the Lord was our strength. The Lord is our help. The Lord is our staff. The Lord is our comforter. He helped us get up because he woke us up. Yeah. That's victory. And one thing about victory, you don't have to dress up victory. You don't have to make up victory. You don't have to wake up victory. All you have to do is proclaim it in the name of the Lord. I say all you got to do is claim it in the name of the Lord because you see some folk, they be looking good. They drive a nice automobile. They wear fine jewelry. They eat good. But because they look that way, I don't mean that they're living in victory. Victory don't look like what it's been through. You can go through a whole lot. And I heard somebody say, I don't look like what I've been through. Uh, uh, you got to claim it. You got to proclaim it. Victory. And you got to name it. In the name of the Lord. What I like about it. Victory. Is yours and mine. Because the word of God, it says that we are more than conquerors in Christ Jesus who saved us, who loves us, who walk with us, who holds us, who protects us, who comforts us. So you don't have to worry about the victory. All you got to do is know who gives you the victory. And the word says that no weapon that's formed against you shall prosper. Yes, I'm looking at the text now. In one short week, Jesus went from being the most popular person on the planet to being a public enemy number one. But don't put your trust in man. Man will celebrate you today. And somebody says tomorrow, but he'll celebrate you today and curse you today. Man's perception of things and life changes from day to day, man see you one day, today, on Monday, but then on Sunday when he see you all dressed up, he'll say, man, you sharp. But Monday, he, 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 he talked about you. But I'm glad this morning that our God is immutable. In other words, God changes not. Somebody ought to be shouting. I say, God changes not. If God 
thank good of you now he thank good of you eternally if he loves you now he loves you eternally because the word of God says that our God is the same yesterday he's the same uh, yesterday in other words the present and he's the same today in other words the present and he is forevermore God, God, God is our future. And I'm glad this morning that God changes not. Because when I come to God, I don't have to be figuring out is God still feel the same way about me. But I know that God feels the same way about me. Not only when I'm trying to do good, but even in my hellish ways and even in my wicked ways and even in my sinful ways he still loves me he still blesses me he still encourages me he still talks to me in the Lord good is there any witnesses out there this morning you might be saying that a pastor I don't know nothing about all of that but the word says that we have all sinned and fallen short I want to say Lord that we not all have sinned but we are all still deviling in sin but I'm glad this morning that you still love us you still provide for us you still take care of us yes this narrative might have been a triumphant entry in some people's eyes. But I believe this morning it was more of a personal presentation of the King of Israel in the eyes of God. I believe this morning it's a personal presentation of the King of Kings and the king of glory and the king of my life the king of creation and the king of salvation was being presented as Jesus entered into Jerusalem I can see this morning that it was a parade like no other parade had ever been I could see this morning that Jesus church was the brand master of the universe but not only was he the brand master of the universe but he was the brand marshal of this parade he was leading the parade church and the crowds was preparing uh, Jesus path the word says they took off their clothes and they cast them on the ground they took off their clothes they cast them on the ground you all know that all of us don't buy our clothes at Walmart we don't all shop at Bells we don't all shop at Target but some of us we shop at Dillard's we shop at Macy's and we shop at Nordstrom we wear designer clothing but are you willing to give God your best they took off their robes they took off their tunics they took off what they had on it wasn't too good to give to Jesus it wasn't too valuable to give to Jesus it wasn't too expensive to give to Jesus but I come to tell you are you willing to give God that which he desires God wants you and God wants your best whatever you do you ought to give God your best if you sing you ought to give him your best song if you preach you ought to give him your best sermon if you love you ought to be the greatest lover if you give you ought to give all your tithes and give some more because I believe that all things 
things come of thee, O Lord, and of thine own, not mine, but of thine own, I've given it unto you. In the Lord good, they prepared the path. They gave him their clothes. Yes. Are you willing to give God your life? Because if you give him your life, he got a job for you to work in the kingdom. I don't know about you, but I love working in the kingdom. I love serving in the kingdom. I love, I love, I love to help people in the kingdom. Jesus, Jesus, he made the birds, he made the trees, he made the grass, he made the stars, he made the sun, but the apple of his eye was man, mankind. I know, I know, I don't have to ask nobody, do the Lord love me? I know, I know, do you know that he loved you so that he came to Jerusalem? Yeah, the crowd prepared the path, but the crowd also praised Jesus. Hosanna, Hosanna, blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord glory to God in the highest the word says let everything that have breath praise God yes you ought to praise God you ought to praise God the word says that they praise the Lord with a loud voice, yes, for all of us ought to realize that our God is mighty and we ought to praise him mightily, yes, yes, you ought to praise him from whom all the blessings are flowing, they flowing right now any witnesses in the house are you a witness in your house that the blessings of the Lord is flowing in my life flowing my way not horizontally but but vertically the blessings coming down from above Yes, and I'm glad when they come down, the only is for Riley. They won't fall on you, they won't fall on him. But my blessings got my name on it. Yes, 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 Lord. My blessings is for me. What's for me is for me. I don't have to be jealous of you because what my God he does for others he will do for me. He said Jesus said you have not because you ask not the people was praising Jesus for what they had seen. Yes, they had seen the last miracle that he resurrected Lazarus from the dead. That's something to shout about. Yes, because he was Lord of life, King of glory. Yes, they praised him. But you always got somebody that you are praising God too much. You ought to sit down. You ought to get quiet. You're too loud. But Jesus said, 
heart they say Jesus stop the people from loudly praising you but Jesus said if they stop praising me the rocks the rocks the rocks will come alive because Jesus made the rock yes because Jesus is a rock himself he knew the nature of the rocks and the Lord goofed but I'm glad I'm glad anybody glad anybody glad I'm glad I'm glad not some glad morning but right now I can praise him yes yes God's been too good for me to be silent and not tell the story how he blessed me how he loved me how he kept me how he died for me I gotta tell it yes I can't keep it I don't want to keep it I want to share it the Lord the Lord the Lord is mighty good to me the Lord is real good to me the Lord Can't speak for you, but I mm -hmm. just want to praise mm -hmm. his name. Yeah. Not this morning, right. but forever, forever. and forever. Yeah. Oh, that he's done yeah. and is doing yeah. for me Amen. right now. Right now. Right but then... As the parade possessed <laughs> on, Jesus came to a group of people, to a group of people who didn't know who he was. You see, if you don't know something, you ought to ask somebody. If you want to know, you need to ask. If not guaranteed that they gonna give you the right answer but at least you tried so he said that when Jesus came in to Jerusalem the holy city holy city for a holy king so all the city was moved in other words they were impressed because they had never seen anything like this before. And so, great God from Zion, all of the attention was placed on Jesus. Yes, he was worthy of the attention because he was God in the flesh. He was creator of the world. And so, the people who was unfamiliar with Jesus asked the question, who is this? If anybody asks you who Jesus is, you ought to be able to tell them who Jesus is. If they ask you who Riley is, you may not be able to tell them who Riley is. And it's all right for you to tell them, uh, I don't know who Riley is but if they ask you who Jesus is you ought to have a better answer than what the multitude told the people they told the people that this is Jesus he's a prophet of Nazareth of Galilee they really didn't know who Jesus was they said that he was a prophet yes they was that was just the office of his. Other words, not only was he speaking 
in behalf of God. He was speaking the word of God because he was the word. Well, now, who is Jesus? I'm not talking about the multitude, but you ought to know who Jesus is. You ought to know who woke you up this morning. You ought to know who clothed you in your right mind. You ought to know why your heart beating this morning. And you ought to know why the blood is running warm in your veins. You ought to know why food was on your table this morning. And you ought to know why clothes are hanging in your closet. You ought to know the one who made the sun and the moon and the stars. You ought to know this morning the one who made the rivers and the oceans. You ought to know the one who made the trees and the birds who lodge in the trees. You ought to know who made the jungle and you ought to know something about the lion who is the king of the jungle but there is a lion that's above the lion who is the king of the jungle this lion is called the tribe of Judah his name is Jesus and Jesus yes he was Mary's baby born in Bethlehem in a manger he grew up in Nazareth he went to Jerusalem he opened the blind eyes he walked on the water he turned water into wine he healed the cripple he made the lame to walk he even replaced the limbs of amputees the Lord that's who I'm talking about Jesus my Lord Jesus, my Savior, Jesus, who took a hunk of dirt for a man and breathed the breath of life into us. That's why we got to praise. It ain't my praise, but it's his praise. That's why David could say his praise shall continually be in my mouth. The grave can't stop my praise. Death can't stop my praise. Hunger can't stop my praise. Coronavirus can't stop my praise. Naysayers and haters can't stop my praise because Jesus is my praise. Jesus is my friend. What a friend I have in Jesus. All of my sins, not some of my sins, but all of my sins to bear and carry. Yes, I'm talking about Jesus. Yes, the Son of God. Jesus came to Jerusalem, but he didn't stop in the city. They took him outside of the city. Yes, they nailed him to a tree. I heard Paul say, this thing wasn't done in O'Connor, but all the world could see my Lord, your Lord, our God, and our Savior hanging on a cross. They took him down, put him in a tomb. Victory went in the grave. Victory stayed there for three days. But early Sunday morning, victory. Victory, Jesus got up, got up. I know he got up. I can feel him in my soul. He's alive. He got up. He got up. Oh, 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 power in his hand. But that's 
that's not the end of the story that he got up but one day he had an ascension if I had been Jesus I would have went on back after I got up but he hung around he hung around for 40 days and then he took his flight a cloud took him up into glory and I believe when the angels saw him coming the psalmist penned it lift up your heads O ye gates and be ye lifted up ye everlasting doors and the king of glory shall come in who is who is this king of glory the Lord the Lord strong and mighty the Lord mighty in battle lift up your heads lift up your heads people and be ye lifted up ye everlasting doors and the king of glory shall come in who is this king of glory Jesus Jesus the Lord of hosts Jesus Jesus is my king of glory yes yes is Jesus your king of glory if he's your king of glory shout shout glory shout glory shout glory 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 hallelujah glory hallelujah I feel better since I since I laid my burdens down I feel like praying I feel like running I feel like serving I feel like praying since I since I since I laid my burdens down glory 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 to the king glory hallelujah glory Hosanna, Hosanna, blessed is he who cometh in the name of the Lord. You ought to come this morning and be blessed, but don't come on your own accord, on your own name, on your own achievements, but come in the name of the Lord. You'll be blessed this morning. As we open the doors of the church, you ought to come. Come in the name of the Lord. Lord, you ought to say, Lord, I surrender. Lord, I surrender. Yeah. When when the police arrest you, you throw your hands up. I surrender. I won't, I won't try to run. I won't try to duck. I won't try to hide. But I, I surrender. And so this morning, if you'll come and just surrender, you all to Jesus. Say to him, I freely give myself to you, Lord, because he's already proven through Lazarus that he's the Lord over death and that he's the Lord of life. He's proven. And in his death and resurrection, he's proven that he's king of all kings, that he is gone away, but he's coming back. He came to Jerusalem on a donkey, on an ass. They laughed at him. 
But Revelation say he's coming back. Coming back. On a white horse. Blood. On his vesture. Written king of kings. Lords of lords. And so now you can come. Because the curtain has been torn. Down. And you don't have to come through no man. No earthly priesthood. Because Jesus is your high priest. Will you come? And if you come this morning, there's a number on the screen. And you can call the office and there'll be someone there to answer the phone. And we will receive you not only into the church, but we will receive you into the fold of God that you might grow spiritually and that you might become all that God have desired and designed for you to become. So this morning, give us a call, please. I, I would love to be your pastor. Not only to be your pastor, but be your shepherd. And God knows any, any good shepherd, he knows the value of his sheep. He loves them. And so this morning, I promise you nothing but to love you. And Jesus said, Oh, no man, nothing. The word says, oh, no man, nothing but to love him. And so this morning, I love you. And we'll continue to love you. But it is God who loves you most. Come, come to Jesus. We thank God this morning for who he is. For who he is. You can't do this work on your own. You can't. It's a, it's a divine work. It's a work that takes the anointing of God, the power of God, and the presence of God. He didn't, he didn't give us a work and, and leave us alone, but as we do the work, he's with us. And so this morning at this time now, we, we invite you to give into this ministry here at Bethel AME Church, Pensacola, Florida. And we want to thank you in advance. You can see the various ways on the screen that you can give into this ministry. And so whatever way you select to give, we appreciate it. And we want to thank you again in advance for sowing a seed into this ministry. Because we know that if you sow a seed, that it will grow up and it will flourish and it will present a harvest. It will give back more than you gave. Cast your bread under waters and it shall soon return unto you. And so this morning my prayer is that God will bless you. And you're, you and your family bountifully. If you will, bow your heads and say a word of prayer. God, we thank you for your provisions in this ministry. We thank you for your love and your care, O oh God of your people. And God, I pray this morning that no one go lacking. God, I can't bless them of all the things that they need and desire. But God, your word says you shall supply all of our needs according to your riches and glory in Christ Jesus. And Father, I believe that. I'm a witness of that. But oh God, there's many people out there who don't know that you are a supplier and that your supplies is greater than Walmart, greater than Amazon, greater than CVS. God, that your supplies are stored up in heaven and that you, oh God, have their name on each one of them's gift. For every good and every perfect gift comes from above. God, so now bless each and every one who's under the sound of my voice that they will receive a spiritual blessing from on high with their names written on it. And God, what I like about you, you're quicker than Amazon. Amazon say they'll get it to you in a day or two, but God, you can do right now. You are right now, God. God, right now, bless your people, Lord. It is in the name of Jesus I pray, and we all say amen. Amen. We thank you this morning for tuning in to this broadcast here at Bethel AME 511, Pensacola, Florida. And I want to thank our disciples this morning, our Bethelites and our friends who have joined in with us. 
You could have gone and, and, and been on some other ministry this morning, but you have chosen to, to be with us in worship. And so we don't take that lightly. We thank you. And we pray God's continued blessings upon you. And I say to you this morning, when I say to the Bethelites, and I say it truthfully and earnestly from my heart, I love you. Pastor, love you. And if there's someone near you or someone around you, I want you to turn to them this morning and tell them that you love them this morning. Because God has mandated for us to love him with all our heart, mind, and soul. And for us to love each other as we love ourselves. And so we love you this morning. We thank God for you. We pray God's bountiful blessings upon you and your families and your ministries. It's in the name of Jesus. Praise God from whom all blessings are flowing. Him, praise him to the highest. Lift up your voices and praise him. Oh, praise the Lord. Praise him. Hosanna, Hosanna. Bless him. Be the one who come in the name of the Lord. Glory to the highest. Who is this? Oh, it's Jesus. Deep down in my soul, it's Jesus. My Lord and my Savior, it's Jesus. My Redeemer and my Protector, it's Jesus. My Comfort and my Sustainer. Now, unto him, unto Jesus, that is able to keep you and you and you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise God our Savior be glory and majesty, dominion and power both now and forever God prison.